So far under Ralph Randnick, we've had some excellent performances, some bang average performances, some great games, some crap games, and then we've had that chaotic game against Leeds. But what we've got from Wednesday onwards is basically the make or break of this Manchester United season, the make or break of Ralph Randnick. Could he be in line for Manchester United's permanent role instead of Ten Hag or Poch? I don't really think so. But we'll know after these next six, seven games. So in this video, I'm going to give my predictions for Manchester United's upcoming fixtures, starting with that crucial game against Atletico Madrid at the Wanda Metropolitano on Wednesday in the Champions League. I'll run through everything because we've got some serious games coming up. I'll give my predictions for the Champions League and my predictions for the Premier League as well. Make sure you do please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, if you if you agree with my comments, I don't know, you let me know in the comments below. But hit, go down there, hit that notification bell as well, hit that subscribe button. But let's head into this because, as I said, the fixtures that we've got coming up are tasty. Atletico Madrid away on Wednesday, and the one that everyone's been waiting for, Elton John's coming to town. He's not, but we're playing Watford at home. But then, seriously, after Watford, let's just scroll down here. City away, followed by Spurs at home, followed by Atletico at home. And culminating with Liverpool away. What a run of fixtures this is coming up for Manchester United. And so much is said about Ralph Radnick. So much is said about, oh, you know, he's had a decent run of fixtures. He, let's be honest, he, we've had a generous run of fixtures for the last couple of months. But from Wednesday, he gets serious. And it starts there. Atletico Madrid. Ronaldo, of course, it's Ronaldo going back to Madrid. What's your feeling going into the game? Look, if you've watched any of Atletico Madrid this season, I've, I've not watched much of them. Why would I? I've watched some of them in the build-up to this game. They are not the Atletico Madrid of old. They are not the team that's capable of a shutout every single week. Diego Simeone's side, they may have won the league last year, but they're misfiring. Sometimes, sometimes they may be good, sometimes they may be shit. As Gattuso once said in one of his press conferences, and it's very much like Manchester United. Oh. My gut instinct for this game is a draw. I think that because of the because of the away goals rule, uh, you saw it with uh, Real Madrid, didn't you? At PSG, they didn't really attack too much. It didn't. It, it, it's it's different now. It's not the be all and end all for Atletico Madrid to keep a clean sheet in this game. Although I do think they'll probably still go for it and head into that second leg. But for me, I I'm back in a draw here, given how Atletico Madrid have been playing this season, given how Manchester United have been playing this season, both capable of winning games, but also both capable very much of capitulating. So for me, it's got draw written all over it. And I just hope that Mr. Champions League can come up with the goods against Atletico Madrid. We need him to. He's been, you know, out of form, out of sorts in the last five, six, seven games, hasn't he? He scored, was it against Brighton? He, he got, yeah, it was against Brighton, I believe. But Ronaldo, away, he loves scoring against Atletico Madrid. I think in like 10 games, he's got like seven goals and three. He's got, his record against Atletico is great. And I hope he can come up with the goods in the Champions League. So that's my prediction for that game there. And going into that game against Watford, there's no reason why we shouldn't be confident of a win. And that's me. That's not me being complacent as a fan. That's not me taking it all completely for granted. But Watford are down there in a relegation scrap. Manchester United are nowhere near that. What's, what's the table as it stands going into that game? We're fourth at the moment. Scroll down here. Dup, dup, dup. There you go. 18th. One point off bottom with a game in hand, of course. But there's no way that Manchester United shouldn't be looking at this and expecting, not expecting, but believing that three points are ours. Because we need to. Because what's coming up next is these next four fixtures. Wow, imagine that for the fact that they've all come up one after the other. City away. Now, Spurs have shown that City, I mean, it's not just Spurs. Was it Crystal Palace earlier this season as well that, that beat City? I can't remember. City are not as infallible as they once were. I suppose you can, in the same sense, you can you can put that down to the similar to Atletico Madrid, right? People have, and teams have got at City this year, but they're looking pretty indomitable. Because they dropped points there, Liverpool now, I, I don't care about their title race, I won't talk about that. But my gut instinct is telling me we're probably going to lose this game. Now, I'm not saying it's a definite, but that's just what my instinct is telling me. Um, I can't really explain it. I, mean, I, can, I can explain exactly why City are just a lot better than us. But what Manchester United showed against Leeds, what we have shown against Ragnick, under Ragnick, we do have some resolve. And it all will probably come down to tactics on the day. You can't really preview the game too much, but my gut instinct going into that game is that City are going to win. If we look at the table as it stands now, obviously we've got the Watford games coming in between. Uh, but look at that. Well, they have 17 points clear of us. Same game, same amount of games played. Conceded half the amount of goals that we've conceded. 
It's got it's got City win written all over it. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but that's what my gut instinct is telling me. Now, is that enough for you out of those first three games? If we were to draw against Atletico, beat Watford and lose against City? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But then as soon as that happens, what is it? Six days later? 12th of March? Six, yeah, six days later, we play Spurs at home. Now, as I said, there's, there's going to be a couple of Premier League games in between these. Of course there are, but it doesn't mean you can't have a, a little stab at predicting them all now. Why not? Sometimes you get them right. Probably won't, but you never know. At Old Trafford. Sod it, man. I'm back in United to win that game. Conte coming to Old Trafford. So many United fans. Not so many United fans. Some United fans wanted Conte in. I didn't. I didn't think it was the right long-term solution for the club. I absolutely stand by my decision. And with how Ralph is doing at the moment, with the fact that he's going into a consultancy role, with the fact that Conte started to not fall apart, I suppose, obviously not fall apart, I suppose, of what they did against City, but started to clash with Daniel Levy. I mean, who could possibly, possibly have seen that coming in the same way that who could possibly have seen that coming with Jose Mourinho? He wouldn't have worked at Manchester United. Now, that's not going to be a give at Son and Kane if they're on form, and they probably will be on form. They're going to cause us problems. But sod it, I'm back in United to win that. And then we've got the big one, right? The second leg, because of the way that the Champions League is now, because there's no away goals in the knockout rounds, ties will effectively be settled in the second. I mean, of course they will be settled. All ties are settled in the second game. But it strikes me that most first legs now are going to be just tight affairs. It's not going to be games where any team's trying to keep a clean sheet or any team's really trying to go and get that away goal to try and change the narrative. It's going to effectively be a game that some... I mean, Atletico Madrid really, realistically, are going to be going big time for it in that first game, right? Because they've got the home advantage. So maybe I'm wrong in thinking we're going to get a draw there. But going into this game, it's nervous. It's going to be Old Trafford under the floodlights. Ralph Radnick in charge in the Champions League. We've got Ronaldo back at Old Trafford against Atletico. Come on, man. You've got to be confident, right? You've got to carry some confidence. And of course... All confidence can completely change depending on what happens against Atletico, depending on what happens against Watford, against City, against Spurs, all in the build-up to this game against Atletico. But I think we're going to go through against Atletico over two legs. That is my prediction, that we will reach the quarterfinals. And I'll give you my prediction as and when that happens if we do get there. But I think we will. Over the course of two legs, I think we'll have enough against Atletico Madrid. As I said, I think... Because of the no away goals, I think the first leg's going to... It's not going to be like a damp squib. It won't, I, I very much doubt it. But it will be a game where I don't think United really go for it. I don't really think they need to. I think Ralph Rannick will go into that game and tell his players, look, if we can get to Old Trafford, we can be confident of getting the three points at Old Trafford. It's, it's advantage us at that point. So we'll probably be not chasing the draw, but happy with the draw. Atletico Madrid, as I said, they're misfiring, but they've still got Suarez and Griezmann. But over the course of two legs... I'm going to back United to have enough to beat Atletico Madrid. They're not that Atletico anymore that Diego Simeone took to two Champions League finals and lost to Cristiano Ronaldo's Real Madrid, of course, both times. Unlucky. Um, but so, I, I, I'm backing us. I'm backing Ronaldo to come up. Uh, Ronaldo, so many people constantly, constantly have doubted him, doubted him and doubted him. You know that. And he's been in bad form recently, right? But he has turned up against Villarreal in the Champions League when we needed him the most. He turned up away at Atalanta with that ridiculous volley when we needed him the most. In the crucial moments in the Champions League so far, Cristiano Ronaldo has delivered. And I am backing him to deliver. This is the reason why he's back at United. He wants to get United through the Champions League. It's his playground. That's what he wants to win more than anything. So I think we're going to see a different beast, a different Ronaldo in this game. He's going to have an extra 10% that we haven't seen. And that's my prediction. I think we're going to go through against Atletico Madrid over to both two legs. And then, of course, a nice quiet game only a few days later, Five days later, Anfield, Liverpool away. And given what happened between City and Spurs, Liverpool are going to be full of beans. Obviously, you're going to have, what is it, one, two, you've got three Premier League games in between now and then. So when we don't know what the situation is going to be like at that point. But given that they're only three points behind City, maybe City will trip up somewhere else. And this could be a game where Liverpool need to win to go ahead of City, for example. it's, it's As I said, it's... You're stuck between a fucking rock and a hard place here as a United fan. Because you're either going to lose and help Liverpool win the league or you're going to lose and help City win the league. As I said, it's like shit or more shit. What do you want? But nothing will hurt me more as a United fan than what City did with that Aguero moment at the end of the season. That was It won't get any worse than that. 
And somehow I've managed to completely avoid the pain of Liverpool winning the league because COVID happened. Um, so sorry, I don't want Liverpool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to back us for a draw here. And that's probably foolish, naive, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I'm going for a draw there against Liverpool. What's that based on? I mean, absolutely nothing apart from a little bit of blind hope. But this United team showed against Leeds that there is some fight in there. We have seen some real quality in other games as well. And depending on what happens here in the build-up, we've got Atletico there away. We've got Watford at home. We've got City away. Spurs at home. Atletico at home. And then Liverpool away. Wow. So this... These are my predictions, right? I think we're going to beat Atletico. No, sorry. I think we're going to draw away at, at Atletico. And I think we're going to beat them at home in the return leg. I think we're going to go through to the Champions League quarterfinals. Will we go any further than that? Well, let's find out if we even get there. But I'm backing United to do it over the course of two legs. I think we'll have enough. As you can see there, I've got two wins there against Watford and Spurs. I think we'll, I think don't think we're going to have enough to beat City. I think we all know if we beat City, it's going to be... Not because we match them up on paper. It's because maybe maybe you can as a team. On the on the day, we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, right? Let's find out. I don't think that will be the case. I think we'll lose to them. And I think we'll draw away at Liverpool. But you let me know in the comments, right? Would that be enough for you? Out of our next six games there, Atletico Madrid away, Watford at home, City away, Spurs at home, Atletico at home, and Liverpool away. Would that be enough there? Three wins, two draws, and a loss. Because I think, mate, if, if United can get, if United could get that, hypothetically, of course, we're speaking here. Imagine we got that. That would be a fantastic return from those games, in my opinion. Is it impossible? No, I don't think. I don't think that's impossible. I genuinely do back us to go through over two legs against Atletico. Yes, I would, of course, back us to beat Watford at home. You should be doing that. And uh, United of old have sort of tripped up at these occasions, so we can't do that. I'm backing us to win there. I don't think we'll have enough to beat City, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just I'm backing us at Anfield to get a draw. After that, after that five 0 against Liverpool early, and City, those two games early this season were the were the downfall of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We are a different team under Ralph Rannick, and I don't expect those sorts of performances to happen again. But what's your prediction, right? You let me know in the comments below. Am I foolish for thinking that United can get those sorts of results, or do you think that United can? And what would it change for you when it comes to Ralph Ragnick? If we get those results, right, does that mean that Ralph Ragnick is putting himself into contention for the job on a permanent basis? Or are we just not having that conversation? Will nothing change that conversation? Even if Ragnick wins the Champions League, which I think will obviously change the situation. But you let me know what you think about this in the comments below because this is crucial. This is what we've been waiting for. Football, man, you can take your games against West Ham, your games against Leeds and, and Norwich and Newcastle and anything you want to get excited about. Of course, you get excited about games coming up, but this is it. These sorts of fixtures coming up. This is what you live for. This is where the moments come to the, the players come to the fore. Champions League against Atletico Madrid, knockout rounds. City away, Spurs at home, Atletico at home under the floodlights, Liverpool away, the big games of the season. You're on the knife there, just what I said in my live stream this morning. The wins are great and the, the, the defeats are all-consuming. And it starts on Wednesday in the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a hell of a six-game period for United coming up. And then we've got Leicester on top of that as well. But seeing as they're, I don't know where they are now, they're close to a relegation battle under Brendan Rodgers. But you let me know what your predictions are in the comments below. Make sure, as I said at the start of the video, please consider subscribing to United People's TV. Go down there. Hit that subscribe button, bang, hit that notification bell as well. You get a ping every time I go live with a video. But you let me know what your predictions are in the comments below. After seeing mine there, two draws, three wins, and a loss from those six. Is that unrealistic? You let me know what you think in the comments below.